Hi guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Today we teamed up with DAP Products to show you how to build this DIY bench. We're gonna be using construction screws, plastic wood wood filler, wood glue, and then of course our wood. And then a few supplies that aren't shown here is wood stain and of course all the tools you'll need. First, we're gonna start by cutting the legs. For the legs, we used two by fours and they're basically put into a box format. So you cut them down in the miter saw to get them down to size. After they're all cut, you can move on to sanding. Be sure to sand all edges so they're nice and smooth. For the top of the bench, we used a wider format board. These are, this is a 10 inch board and we actually ended up ripping it down so it was nine inches on our finished product. And when you're working with these larger, wider boards, there's a chance that you're gonna find some cupping. So we actually planed the boards down to get rid of the cupping. After we were done, the boards were nice and flat. Next, you can assemble your legs. You want to be sure to grab your clamps because they'll definitely help you with this. You can see here that I used the clamp to secure the top of the box while I got the bottom piece glued in. Once it is glued, you can change the clamp to the side where the glue is, and then you can drill your pilot holes. I also drilled countersink holes as well. This helps the wood not to split when you're screwing everything together and it helps get those screws down into the wood so then you can fill them with wood filler. Simple as that, now the legs are assembled. Next, you'll definitely want to sand them again. This is just in case any of them don't line up perfectly. You can sand it to get it nice and flush. Next up, we used DAP's Plastic Wood X Wood Filler, and we applied that to all of the screw holes on the legs. You want to apply enough so that it's sitting on top of the wood. Remember, you're going to sand this down so it doesn't need to be scraped very clean. After waiting about 24 hours for the wood filler to totally dry, you can sand it so that it's nice and smooth. Now it's time to stain. We used dark walnut wood stain and we just applied that to the legs on every surface. Be sure to wipe off any excess stain when you're done as well, just with a shop towel. We also did the same thing on the top pieces of the bench. We stained them with the same stain. Now it's time to put the bench together. So you lay your top pieces on a flat surface and then grab your legs and position them into place. We had about an inch overhang on all sides of our leg. Then you can grab a pencil and just make a little mark where the legs are supposed to go. Now it's time to glue them. We were using Dap's Weldwood wood glue for this. So you apply the wood glue to the bottom of the leg and then put it into place where your pencil marks are. Then you finish it off with some finished nails. And really what you're doing here is just holding the leg in place so that you can draw your pilot holes and screw it together. Because we didn't really have any clamps that would hold it into place. You can see that I'm drilling the pilot holes at an angle. This is because the construction screws that we had on hand were a little bit longer than we needed and we just wanted to be sure that it wasn't going to go all the way through the bench and to the top. And that's really it. The very last step, guys, is to seal this. Now the sealer that I used is a wipe-on poly, which makes it really easy. You can just 
wipe on the poly with a rag and you don't have to worry about brush marks or anything like that. You wanna be sure to seal all surfaces of the bench, even the bottom. All right, guys, you could see in the video that I was able to do almost this entire bench build completely by myself without the help of my husband, which means that it is a great one for you guys to try out if you wanna get into woodworking and you're a beginner. The best part is, is that I actually have the plans available for you to download for free over on my blog. So hop on over to makingmanzanita.com slash DIY dash bench. If you guys liked this video, be sure to subscribe for more, hit that like button, comment below, and then hop on over to Making Manzanita if you want to see more tutorials.